Graphing in 3D for grades 8 and 9 geometry. Graphing in the third dimension has always been a difficult concept for students to visualize. With use of the smart board, we reviewed graphing in two dimensions on the XY coordinate plane. Students love to come to the board and manipulate the points and slide them on the graph, showing what they already know how to do, but, but really just getting up to kind of play with the smart board. We also talked about the quadrants, one, two, three, and four, and a student demonstrates their location. We ask ourselves, what is a coordinate plane good for graphing? Well, two-dimensional figures. We live in a three-dimensional world. We need another axis in order to give us that height. Using a program, an application called Grapher, a colleague developed this visual, which starts out by turning it there with my finger. There's the XY plane, flat. But now, with just a simple touch of the finger on the smart board, look at how we have that height coming in. There's our z-axis. That's what we need to be thinking about. We now go to graphing in three dimensions. Well, we're still going to graph on a piece of paper, but now we have an ordered triplet. We still start at the origin, move along the x, move along the y, and now that z is going to bring us up into the space. Not a great visual on that flat graph paper. But now I take the same triplet on my little grapher and try to get them to really visualize that point in space. We talk about the eight octums and how they're going to be named. And then we discuss, well, let's name them according to are we on the top or are we on the bottom based on Z? Do we come to the front or do we go to the back based on the X? And then from there, do we go right or left? based on the sign of the Y. Students really got this lesson a lot better with use of that smart board. Thank you very much.